Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Aces and Adventures, a roguelite deck builder RPG with apparently poker-inspired combat. I'm very curious about this. Obviously, like, visually wildly stunning and not usually what you would expect out of a deck builder roguelike but in we are gonna go to check this out here the demo is part of the steam next fest i believe but it's out a little bit early but let's check it out click on an adventure deck to begin magnor i've got my axe and my shield and i'm ready for anything and a warrior starter okay so maybe we're gonna get the ability to choose between those at some point the i'm not first sure breath of fall fills your lungs crisp in the morning rays of an aging summer sun. Before you lies the space that mountains made, like open hands for life to grow beneath low clouds. A trail plunges into the veil Ooh, ahead. Behind you, there is nothing. No memory of yourself or how you came to this place. Just the gentle pull of a sloped path and the courage to draw the next card from the deck of fate. A pilgrim bearing a stone walks along a riverbank. Startled by your sudden appearance, the stone is raised in defense. Who are you? It's my turn. Select playing cards to attack. You can are we throw gonna hit them? singles, pairs, or any valid poker hand. Then select an enemy. Okay. Singles, pairs, or any valid poker hand. I mean, I don't think I have anything too good except for just a single, right? Am I, am I wrong? Should we just throw an ace? One attack remaining. So, so can we, like, is this two separate attacks, or is this... That's a... not a valid attack. Oh, okay, okay. All right, huh. fine. And then the you are doing a wins, this? And the okay. dealt is equal to the number of cards used in attack. So oh. singles deal one damage, pairs deal two, and so on. Okay, fair enough. So since I put an ace, you put a jack of diamonds. I think that's a jack of diamonds. A little tough to tell. I, I should theoretically do one damage, right? When yep. You're done, flip the stone by clicking it and end your turn. All right. Stay back. The defender must match the number of cards used in attack. So block singles with singles, pairs with pairs, and so on. Okay. So he's attacking with the Ace of Hearts. I mean... I theoretically can't beat it, right? Like, so do I just throw out something that's bad? I mean, click the glowing enemy card to defend. Ah, so like... It's just letting me defend any of these, then? Hold your shield high. I don't know, man. I, I couldn't beat it, so <laughs> why even why even bother? Okay, we got a health potion. Heal 3 HP. So we're at 7 out of 8. Chop, deal 1 damage to an enemy, and then draw a card. Oh, okay. It's nice to know we've got that as well. Seems like it requires a spade in order to be played, though. I mean, I don't really have any valid poker hand here, so I feel like let's just throw out another single for now. I mean, we maybe might as well just do the chop as well. Do it. Does that count as our turn? Seems like we can go again. Oop, hello. Yes, one attack remaining. Send it. <laughs> And you use the four to block. Huh. Is it just that, like, that's our way of discarding cards? Is that more more the way to look at it? I'm, I'm just making sure we don't have another attack. Round. Please. Okay, so you are going for a six and a seven. Uh, all right. I mean, like, block? Can I block with it? Can I block I this way? the number of cards in the attack. I am. Are you only attacking with one? If the defender wins, the attacker takes the damage. Okay. Oh, really? That's that's kind of loud. Wait, wait. Forgive my haste, stranger. Okay. But the forest is no longer safe. The creatures bear arms and walk on two feet. 
pulled from their embrace of Mother Earth by the lure of power. Here, take this healing draft to restore the vigor our misunderstanding cost you. Well, thank you. I'm on break. The die beneath a card represents its hit points. Yep. You've forgotten yourself? This shady path leads to a witch first in brews known to stir the mind. But I must follow the river. Swift journey, traveler. The seasons are changing. Warmth won't be free for long. The gods favor me! Redraw a card instead of attacking. Okay, that's probably good. The forest floor in leaves Since a failed defend. A strange damage. fire weaves its way through the woods. <laughs> You'd better not dull my axe! Whoa, gain a shield at the start of your turn. If you're under 4 HP, gain one shield when replaced. Okay. So we got we can go for a pair. And assuming they don't have a pair, we should be fine. When defending, an enemy draws cards equal to its defense minus your offense. Okay, so theoretically it's drawing two cards, and you would assume it's probably not going to draw a pair. It drew a pair! Oh my god, it drew a pair of queens! <laughs> On you, oh, okay, no, it, it also auto-subtracted. Uh, it was four minus one down to three. No, I thought it was three minus one down to two. Okay, it's more understandable, but still kind of wild. All right, now I don't know if I want to attack. We have the health potion, but it requires two hearts. When attacking, enemies draw cards equal to their offense minus your defense. Okay. And there are t okay, so this is their hand and this is the card they're choosing to attack with. I got gotcha. you. Last time it looked like they were attacking with two cards cuz they just drew two cards, but no, it's it is only the highlighted one. They're going for a king. I can theoretically block. When an attack hand matches a defense hand in value, no damage is dealt. Great. <laughs> okay. Straight. I mean, it's straightforward enough. It was literally just I, I. The only thing that confused me was that it looked like he was attacking with two cards. Deal one damage to an enemy if the target is at full health. Gain a shield. Ooh. Seems like a great idea. This die represents shields which are consumed before hit points, but are removed at the start of your turn. Okay. So it's not that big of a deal. If he only attacks me with one thing, I don't even need to defend them, theoretically. Uh, I could throw out a... I mean, you're not... You wouldn't possibly have another pair on two. Okay. Good. Should be fine. You're attacking with a king. So I have the shield. Theoretically, I can just like... Yeah, so I'm, I can kind of use that to discard. Or... Oh, no, wait. Did you do... No, I'm just down to six. From uh, the other thing there. Okay. Two queens. You better not. You better not get anything better than a pair of queens on three. Three card draw. That'd be obscene. curious creature. You don't recall seeing a fox go on two legs. Much less wielding a spear by lantern light. Of course, you don't remember much at all. Fortunately, the struggle has returned some of the memory to your limbs. It's all about the games. Reduce damage from a failed defense by one per heart in your defense hand. Okay, reduce damage from a failed defense by one per heart in your failed defense hand. So that's just a, a trait we have forever. Smell guides you through the thick and thicket to a wall of thorns. There, you spy a hut sinking in the mist. A cauldron lid clatters in the contest against its contents, losing upon your arrival to a viscous hand. Hero abilities are not discarded when used. Um. Click to use it on your turn. Prepare lets you redraw a card instead of attacking. Select the card you want to replace first, or it will swap the lowest value. 
Okay. Select the card you want to replace first or swap the lowest value. Okay. Well, I don't Cross really want to do that. I think I actually have a pretty nasty looking hand. Um, wild one of your cards into a spade until the end of the turn. Remove a card from the enemy's attack hand. Gain one shield at the start of your turn if you're under four HP. And gain one shield when replaced. I mean, theoretically, we we go for this. It should be a no-brainer. They draw two cards. They draw two cards. I got scared there. That looked like it looked good. Okay. I'm not under four HP. I don't need to wild one of my cards into a spade. I feel like I'm fine. So you're hitting me with a king. We could block it. I guess that's fine. Like, I don't really have... Like, the ace is nice. And, oh, we, that's right. We do get to counterattack. So now, is this... That's you. We can go for this and get you a counterattack. One extra damage as well. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Do one damage to an enemy. If it's at full health, gain a shield. So we can throw out a... A diamond, so that's nice and free. And then theoretically, we can still do this attack, and you should not be able to do anything with it. Correct. Great. Oh my hero! Hmm. Long roots on you, and nigh a trace of that foul infernal magic that caused my cauldron to bubble over so willfully. Now, how to thank you for saving me from my renegade soup? <laughs> Lost your past? Well, where's the last place you remember seeing it? This misty potion is good for the memory, or perhaps you prefer a health tonic? A banquet in every bottle? Ref Refill your health with this liquid feast. The path, ref the path, ref the path. refill your. Ref okay. Uh, level up. Give it a go. I'm not hurting that much. Deal one damage to the attacker for every spade in your defense hand. A thaumaturge, an alchemist, a bit of a cook. I am these things. But an oracle is what you require. Seek out the crook in the mountains where the sun makes its bed. There you will find a circle of stones and a cave beyond. Should you survive, you will come to a desert of black sand, where a grand pillar cut by giant hands reaches into the blue vault. The Oracle's temple sits like a jewel atop this scepter. But be warned, infernal magic leaks from this cave like an open wound. Ah. <sighs> I will have to find a new place to collect the slime for my soup. I love how they all every card has their own title too. Like a white that's so tree cool. emerges from the mist like a lonely ghost. Its bare branches bring a strange sorrow to the rim of your eyes. Just then, two figures leap from the bushes and scare away the spectre of a memory. <laughs> this enemy has a trait. Enemies with guard must be attacked before enemies without guard. Click and hold a card to pick it up and learn more. Fair enough. Shield at the ready. After failing to defend, deal one damage to the attacker, draw an ability. It's a, a reaction. Gain one shield to start turning around. I mean, I don't hate the idea of going for this. We're only missing one though. Like we we could just we could take a hit still before we do that. So let's just try not to use our um our hearts for now. We don't have a yeah, we don't have a great hand. I just want to click that. You got a tent, that's fine. Alright. And then I I guess I'll Stop, just in case I fail. 
What do we have here? Reduce damage from a failed defense by one for every heart in your defense hand. So theoretically, I mean, this is my defense hand. Oh, defense hand meaning like I could throw out the two. Oh, I could throw out the two. And then since it was a fail, I would reduce the damage incoming by one. But since it's a, t it's just a single 10, it's not that big of a deal anyways. Um, so we could actually just do this to fail it. Ah, uh, we don't have a club. We'll wild that into a spade. Just to, I, I want to test this out. Because it's fine if we take a hit. Because then we get more value out of our health potion. We do do the one damage back. Reacting to the fail defend, we can also get revenge. And then we can get a healing potion. So, wait, you, what's that going on here? You're doing, you're attacking with the queen. Well, I actually do have two heals now, or two hearts now. So... I might as well block you with this. So we take one less damage. So we take nothing. And then we can react with revenge again, apparently. Oh my god. And now, health potion is super optimal because it brings us right back up to full HP. Great! Absolutely great stuff. Fantastic. Um. The question is, what, do, what, do we, what else do we do here? I'm ready for anything. Oh, shoot. Okay, wait. We have to click a card before we hit prepare. That That's... I In my head, in most other games, it's like, click this, then click the one you want to prepare. I know it says the thing, but fair enough. Uh, I mean, still, it's more likely that we are able to kill on an 8. So maybe that's fine. I can't use that right now. I'm out of attacks for this I'm round. I'm out of attacks anyways. It's no makeup. All right. The ace. I could block with this and it's irrelevant. I could intimidate to remove this. We don't draw another card when we do that, do we? No. So that means you're going to go for this. Yeah, I mean, it's it's irrelevant unless we want to go for the spade to forcefully take the hit so that we can then kill. I mean, that's fine. We can either win. I guess if we... That's the other thing. Is if we just win, then uh, we get to kill. That sound. Yeah, see, this is much better. One damage for each... So we're going to want to remove here. Certainly. We hit him with the remove. Then we can go for the queen to block. Get that extra damage. And then if we're lucky... A pair of fours should be enough, right? Could turn that into a spade. We could have two of the same. All right, great. Great. That's two. That's a kill. A strange man. This game is incredible. A sack of goods How does this exist? A How does this indie? leaves at you from the shade of a wide-brimmed hat. I've little care for the makings of man. Second-down goods and all. But the leaves you bear, those I shall trade for something more useful to you. Ooh. Discard three abilities. What does the one offense do again? Oh, it helps with um, how many cards they get to draw when I'm attacking. So far, it's been fine. And armor is how many cards they get to draw when they're attacking. Okay. God, that's such an elegant system. That's such an elegant system. I'm just wondering. This one. You must discard two abilities. Uh. Oh. 
Oh, we have to discard both of them. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. You track a but we are just stronger. To abandon the river, arriving as the pilgrim hurls his rock at a wall on the far bank. It chips and tumbles into the water. Just a single stone. <sighs> you hear him sigh. That's all my life was. This wall represents the unknown, or so my ancestors say. I've thrown the stone I brought from the mouth of the river, and so I join my strength to the arm of my descendant who will, someday, break this wall. Was the witch able to conjure your past? He asks. Hmm. My pilgrimage is over, but it sounds as if yours has just begun. This is the fastest path up the mountain. But there is smoke that smells of meat, and I know not its source. The other road curls by the den of a great bear who, legend claims, taught the other animals to stand. I doubt any path will be simple, but whichever you walk, I hope it gets you to where you need to go. Take the most Take There is something oh. unsettling about the smell in the smoke. Take the most direct path up the mountain. Let's go. Let's get it. You come upon a camp of lively forms frolicking around a tall flame. Fluidly, their dance flows into advance. You scarcely have time to raise your defense. Thrust the axe. Oh, they are no joke. Oh, they are no joke. Wild one of your cards into a heart at the end of the turn. We do have just plus one offense, so we get two cards to draw. If I, if I go for you, oh my god, you get to draw five cards on the attack. That's brutal. Ooh. If I go for the healer, which also, what does that mean? Let's find out. Restore one HP. Okay, well, obviously we want you gone. And I don't have any kind of special poker hand going on. Uh, can't get a flush or anything, can I? So we want to save our spades and hearts. Take your best shot. Ooh, that'll be really nice. So theoretically, we're done then, right? We can wild the card if we want to. We'll see. You're attacking with an ace. I mean, I can block with the four and we're fine, or I can block it with the spade to do damage back. Because I don't really want to use my ace on that. Like, I'll just block it with the four, and then we take zero damage anyways. You're blocking with the king, though. That's the healer? Well, I do want the healer to die quicker, so I think blocking that with the ace is, is fine. Otherwise, we could heart of ox the two. Hold your shield high. What do we got here? Wild the card into a spade. So this auto does my best hand, it looks like. Interesting. Yeah, no dice, man. <laughs> That's not going to work. Other than that, I think that we don't really want to mess with anything. Ten. I mean, we almost have like a... Nah. Into a spade. We can have three spades. We have three. We have three clubs already. Um. I feel like wilding. A I think this is fine. I think that's okay. Sound. That sound. Okay. I can't wild anything else into a heart. So I'm going to take this hit, but if I block with a spade, then you die at the very least. 
So I'll just take I'll take that as a win, I guess. Remove a card from the enemy's attack hand. That's gonna be fantastic. Double on the eight. Very unlikely. You get you get the ability to block that. Very unlikely. I think we stop that. Queen. Not today, dude. Surprised you didn't get anything better than that. Defeat an enemy that's under 4 HP for one spade. This game is so cool. Oops. There are memories in the fire. If you stare with intent. You cannot identify the meat roasting on the spit, but it smells edible enough. Feels like that's like maybe a heal. And this is a level up. I'd rather get a level up. Select a level three trait. Plus one max health and plus one max hand size. Great. The sun sets in a stone cradle, lighting an orange beacon before giving into night. You follow the last rays to ruins high on the ridge. Stones stand like teeth before a yawning cavern. A black robe hovers ominously over a central altar. Feel that already. Oh no? Is it the boss? I think this might be Debos. Enemies with deadly darks deal plus one damage with black cards in successful attacks. <sighs> okay. Get whetstone. Okay, finishing blow is nice to have. Uh, so is that. Oh, though. There's no way you get a better hand than this, right? No way, right? Okay, well, that's a good start. We got extra max health, but we didn't get extra current health. Pair of sevens. Oof. Um... Well, I can't beat it. So, I can't beat it, but I can intimidate one. Which means the ace is now the highest, which means I can block it with a heart. Which I don't have. But... If I block it with the seven, I'll at least do a damage back. Which I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay with that. It's my turn. Got a seven. Deal one damage to an enemy if they're at full health. Gain a shield. I mean, I feel like I want to do this first. We're getting very close. I mean, uh, to the four HP. Sure. Okay, good. Very good. They're, I know they're not full HP. Got the whetstone. We can... Basically, we want to counter with a uh, spade, and then we will be able to finishing blow kill. Theoretically, can't we just, like... Can't we double? Can we do two? Yeah, we do two damage there. Oh, you son of a gun. You stood no chance. You stood no chance, man. I'm afraid that this is the end of the demo. I hope not. The luster fades from the golden thread, and the cloth falls dead in the wind. The mouth of the Please cave don't be the end of the demo. I want to play more so bad. Breath. A faint glow within grows more insistent as your eyes begin to accept the darkness. Use the three of a kind in combat. New plus 20 mana. 
Complete the seedling adventure with Magnor for the first time, plus 50 mana. I like to take my dive. Rank B, mana gathered 115 total time, strategic time, 15, 15. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Ooh. You've unlocked an ability pack, you've gathered enough mana to level up. What is that? What is happening? Mortal wound after, wait, after dealing attack damage, do one damage to defender and prevent healing. It's a reaction debuff. After you defeat an enemy, gain one shield and draw an ability. After you successfully, after successfully attacking, deal damage equal to enemies adjacent to the target. Tap and deal one attack damage to an enemy. Tap and deal. Tap and deal one attack damage to an enemy. What? You've unlocked Shaylin the Rogue. I uh, mean, sure. What is the mark? Rogue starter. I do want to know for a sec. This socks ain't for splitting logs, lad. I am the. Snake that sure looks like there's going to be another mist. option there too. Okay, we're obviously gonna play the more. The mist halts at the mouth of the cave, afraid to enter. A faint orange glow feeds crumbs to your starving eyes. Thunder echoes through the cavern, but there was no storm outside. Strange silhouettes serpentine around stalagmites. Eyeless creatures with crude weapons fleeing from something in the depths. This time, surprise is on your side. You are not fit to fight my shadow. What is surprise? Uh, the begin tapped. Deal one attack damage to all enemies. For one, sp one spade and a while, it seems like, probably. I'm just, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just fine. I'm just fine with that. So if they're tapped, can they not retaliate? Let's find out. Plus an eight's decent. No, they can retaliate. I'm happy with what we did, though. Gain an additional attack. Ooh. Pay any card to gain an additional attack. I mean, sure. But then... Do we not have any cards? Surrender. No, we dropped. We drew. We drew a full new hand. Ooh. You were screwed, dude. Draw two cards from the top of your discard pile. Oh. Okay. Uh... I wish we had a queen. I, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. We, I don't know why we're, like, trying to make some kind of special hand happen. He dies in one damage. <laughs> no technique is forbidden. Level one trait, plus one damage per black card in your successful attack. Ooh. Definitely different than the other character. fills the cave with deadly heat. The mouth of the tunnel drips orange as it cools from the passage of something hot enough to walk through stone. You throw yourself into an opening to escape the heat. You plunge through a shaft of smooth stone cut by squares of light, sliding for minutes before you're ejected into a cavernous hall. <clears throat> Whoever gouged the stone from the mountain's belly left columns standing like ribs. Rivulets of fire flow between the seams in the stone, no thicker than a hair, pulsing into the chamber ahead. Pitiful figures shamble from behind the pillars, perhaps once human, but long ago. The color has been taken from their flesh, and their hands gnarled into permanent grips around weapons with still glowing runes. Time to strike. Reanimate. Entities with reanimate can top deck a jack or higher when defeated to remain at 1 HP instead. What? They can top deck a jack or higher when defeated. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. It's saying when they die, they get to top deck something. If it's a jack or higher, they stay alive. So there, it's just like it's a chance that we uh, don't get a kill. 
draw two cards from the top of your discard pile. Do I have a discard pile still? Like, is it? does it carry over? Eh, shouldn't have really, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, we have the double aces? Is this in plus one damage? Theoretically, this is a, theoretically, this is lethal because of the plus one damage from Black Guard. They do not top deck a jack, so they are gone. This game is ugh, so cool. Okay, you know what? Should we dual wheel throw out the attack? Nope. <laughs> we probably shouldn't have. I meant to... I Dual wield auto used my lowest, which happened to be my black card. So it's going to be fine, but... Again, I always feel like when I use this ability... Because all the abilities in your hand, if you click them, it then chooses... Oh my god. Uh, well, that's just bad luck. <laughs> also, what did, when did we take one damage? I don't remember when that happened. Maybe it just happened. Maybe it happened on a uh, failed attack. Um, well, there's nothing I can really do. So let's just throw away some bad cards. There's a chance we get a straight... Is there really? Like, let's be honest. Is there really? Especially if I have to throw away two cards. This is just... That's just... That's just rough. Remove a, a card from an enemy's defense hand. Okay. Alright. Well, I'll hit you with this. Alright, we're good. But that was rough. Oh, he thought the, the nice... Don't you dare. Okay, good. Top the queen! Oh, no! And that's... Unfortunately, it's not from the defense hand. Uh, no. I thought for sure we would be okay. All right. Top deck three. Okay. Your luck finally ran out. Ow, that was painful. Rest the ruined weapons from their clutches and claim them for your own. The power offered by the blade appears difficult to let go. Safer to leave it untouched. I mean, as much as I think this is probably the smart idea, the let's. Rune. This is different. We haven't done that yet. Rune Fal Falcon, Captain Falcon. I can use any weapon. Ah, I will put this. A nice find. Uh, gain one HP after successful attack with a spade. So that's equipment. Why are some of these sound effects so loud? A mural of a banquet from the vantage of a plate at the end of a long table. At the other end, a pair of eyes like two stars in the black sky attend the feast. Beyond the mural is a statue of a drake with jaws frozen in complaint. There is something in its mouth, encased in glass. A masterwork of articulated brass hovers in a sphere of glass, clasped delicately between the spear-tip points of the drake's teeth. Leave the gauntlet be. Read <laughs> the jaw snaps shut. Oh, well, Shattering rip. The glass and I want to be wild with the, the second one, okay? Eyes beam and stones stir as the drake rises from its timeless repose, throwing clouds of dust from wings spread wall to wall. First strike. Oh my god. Here's the thing, like, I should probably block it with my pair of kings, but... Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, what's what's first strike do? It just means you get to attack first. Yeah, that's fine. Because here's the thing. I can double attack with my two kings, and that's four damage. But if I don't, then I take two damage, which is pretty rough. But gain one HP for a successful attack with a spade. See, this is the thing. We're so focused on the attack. Because he has eight attack. I have zero defense. He can just draw eight cards and do whatever he wants with them. So, like, it almost feels like I want to take this two damage because it's more optimal. We'd get to do four damage if we attack with the double kings because they're both, they're both, uh, 
what is this? The, yeah, we get plus one damage for both because they're both black cards. And then one HP we get healed on there. I feel like it's actually optimal to take this damage. Time to strike. I should have not used the black card, but still. Now, theoretically, this is going to be pretty good. Win a failed attack of a single card is a reaction. Okay, that's free. It's free. Great. Yeah, I feel like that was I feel like that was the play. We got him down to two HP. Did I like taking two damage? No, but look at that. We went back up to three, so it's really like we only took one damage and we got to do that much. A pair of nines. Man. Yeah, who would have thought that the assassin is very bad at defense? Who would have thought? Uh, we're going to live, but this sucks. <laughs> We don't even have a spade when a failed attack of a single card. So that's good. We, we, we have a guaranteed lethal next turn. Because of Shank. But this sucks. We want to save the black cards just in case I'm wrong. Heal 3 HP when this enemy is defeated. Wait. Heal 3 enemy... Or wait, what? Heal 3 HP when this enemy is defeated. Remove when you defeat another enemy. So what is this taking from me? Oh, it has to take two black cards. Is it? I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I think we can make this happen. I think we can make this happen. This king should probably work. Yes, we win that one. And then we can dual wield, throw out the four, attack again with the six, and if this fails, like it probably theoretically would, we can use Shank to win it instead. Let's go. Let's go. This this game is great. And once the dust has settled, a gauntlet glistens in a pale shaft of light. Leave the gauntlet. True power lies within. I will put this to good use. A usable item costs one of any one card of any kind. If it's a spade plus one offense for a turn, club gain an attack. Diamond plus one defense for a round. Heart drawn ability. You know, we went through all that trouble. Let's get the artifact at the very least. It casts a carpet of orange light into the room, beckoning you forth. The merchant from the woods sits among his goods in a small antechamber. Before you manage a word, he speaks. Never mind how I got here. More impressive that you're here, actually. Now, my little brunch, about those leaves. Man, it sucks to have the amount of defense I have, but this is difficult to sack three ability cards for one defense. Our ability cards are really nice. You can just go all out offensive. It seems possible, not great, but possible. Oh, this is so difficult. That won't affect anyone. I don't have I don't that have enough abilities. Anyone. A narrow footway dares you beyond the door. Lava pumps through arched veins into a sphere in the center of a cyclopean cylinder cut into the heart of the mountain. Somehow the air is cold. Three flickers of heatless flame splash from the lava flow and await you on the platform that skirts the orb. 
You are not fit to fight my shadow. Offense and defense of the enemies with life force are equal to their current HP. Oh, there's six of these, and they all have six health. Oh, this ain't great. Cancel an incoming attack. Ooh. Draw an ability. Do I really not have an ability? None of these are abilities? Arashi is not an ability? They have so much defense. Wield, we could seven. I mean, yeah, we could actually we could click the seven. We could do dual wield because then we could attack you with the four. You're not gonna have very much. You can have one card, and we can sleight of hand to get rid of the card when it inevitably is better than mine, and you have no recourse. And I can't grip a power at this point. <laughs> um, it does does do anything. We got smoke bomb for when we inevitably have an issue here. Jack. I have a sneaking suspicion these hands are gonna be worse. They get to draw six cards. Uh, I think that they'll have something better. So it sucks, but I think I have to take this. Because these guys are going to... One of them is going to draw at least a pair. And I can't beat it. So I might as well take it. Oh, it sucks so much. It's just an ace. Again, I almost... Because we can hit with a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, if I do, I could get rid of the eight. All right, fine. Venice. Because watch them. What did I say? Oh, it used my two. Oh my God. I thought I, whatever. All right. Well, see, that's exactly why I wanted to say, because we would have been able to ditch one of these. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to beat the king. Oh, but that's really... That's such a bummer. Talon's ready. Not good. Not good. I kind of want to get you with the ace. Club gets us an extra attack. Good. That's the lethal there. Really three. Yet. Good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I thought that was gonna be fine for sure. Yeah, we we lo we lose this one. It's no surprise, but we lose this one. Hmm. Let's just whatever. All right, we need to keep them from drawing so many attacks. I'm going to lose anyways. Let's go out with a bang, and it's an ace, and they draw an ace. Yeah. Oh my God. Did you hear that? That was brutal. Two mana away from unlocking a, an ability pack. Uh, very, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. This character felt uh, more reliable. I think that going for some level ups was probably a better call. Obviously, fighting the big dragon uh, didn't end up great like we, we did fine but they end up great uh but yeah this toolkit seems easier to utilize this was a little bit more there was a little bit more that needed to go right uh but oh my god this game is actually unbelievable 
actually incredible. I, I, I can't, I can't believe this exists. This is so everything that I have ever wanted and I didn't know. Like, it, it's right up my alley, served up on a platter. Um, let's go back for a sec. I want to see. So, yeah, there's... There's the different kind of little packs here. I'm curious. So we could go back here. What's going on here now? What's this? This is. Are there the new deck? Oh. Okay. So you actually can make. I see unnamed decks. So you can make your own out of... I, I assumed that that was what was going on. I didn't know exactly uh, where to utilize those cards. But now we know. You can actually build your deck out. I mean... Like, obviously this is stupid, but is there any limit? <laughs> like... Deck is already full. 30 card. 30 card limit. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, so you can make your own decks to go through with there. You unlock all the extra stuff. It looks like there's going to be a handful of characters. I'm not going to say that that means there will be eight when the game's out, but who knows how many are even in already. What's going on over here? That's how much mana, What like what level and everything. Oh, it's like... You're picking which... Memory. Begin the adventure with one additional ability in hand? Wait. What? Is that like you can spend your, your meta progress stuff? How do I back up? There we go. So you can spend the stuff that you would normally use to, like, get the normal card unlocks, the, the booster packs, and what have you. First leaf. Interesting. Sorry to sneeze. <laughs> uh, wow. Incredibly, incredibly cool. So, yeah, let me see. What is the... This is the starter deck. How many cards are in it? So there are 30 cards in it. Gotcha. It just didn't feel like there were 30. Very cool. Unbelievably cool. This game is jaw-dropping. I I can't believe it. It. I don't know if it truly is a roguelite or not, though. I, I think that that was maybe just a Steam tag. Like, obviously, if you saw in the title that I didn't, and thumbnail that I didn't put that, that's because I decided that that's not the case. Uh, but, wow. It's definitely, a, yeah, it's a deck builder RPG, poker power combat, incredibly cool, very beautiful, very interesting, very unique. The narration's fun, the visual presentation is fun. It reminds me of, um, what was that? The, the Square Enix game that came out recently, what is it, the Isle Dragon Roars, Voice of Cards. It reminds me of Voice of Cards, like, kind of like an inscription, kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons. All those so sort of things mixed together into this really Really nice package. I dare to say this may be my new most anticipated game release. Like, I really think this is my new most anticipated game release. I, I can't believe how cool this is. And how polished it is and how nice it is. This is a demo. We just played a demo today. Guys, we played a demo. This was a demo. Unbelievable. Unbelievably cool. Aces and Adventures. If anything, I fear that the game will get slept on because the name, you know, people will just look right over it. Boy, I think anybody that sees this for just like a second, though, they're going to realize that this is, um, like, amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait to play more of this. We may have to play more of the demo of this. Like, it's so good. I might just have to do more episodes on the demo. But rest assured, I will play this when it comes out. Coming out, apparently, summer 2022, so really it's not going to be too far. Uh, so you will you will see more Aces and Adventures. I guarantee you that. I Wow. Very cool. Thank you for watching, though. Check out the channel. I cover indies and more every single day, typically with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. Uh, but I love myself. Any real deck builder, any deck builder RPG, anything like that, I will cover it. I will make sure you do not miss any great new ones that come out. 
there is not really many better places on this website to uh, to get all the new latest and greatest games in this genre. I will make sure I cover the best ones, so make sure you are subscribed to be notified when that happens. Thank you for watching, thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.